you're going to have to do some more sanding. We'll have to figure out how to fill that. It's a class for engineering and energy sources, tools, workshops. I want to become an electrical engineer, and I think this is a good uh, milestone for me. Students can join as a sophomore, and we are centered around a power industry theme. So kids learn the kinds of things that somebody working at PG&E might need to know. We're actually making a caddy right now. Yep, so it's right on there. It's hands-on, like cutting wood and putting it together. Okay, then you're gonna go ahead and cut that. That'll bring it to the right length. They're gonna learn about hand tools and shop safety. There you go. Basic construction, also things like appropriate behavior and dress for work, what's expected of a, at a job site, and uh, you know, following plans, being able to read a set of plans, job site safety. Where do the X's come from? Which entries are the x-intercepts? The root. Negative two and two. Negative two and positive two? I have to know math concepts to do measuring, multiplying, dividing, which will help me build, build things. It's amazing how much mathematics will go into that to get the measurements right. You know, students really have a hard time measuring English measurements because it's in fractions. I wanted to like have this class to kind of like open doorways in the future. There aren't many girls in this class, but since I'm one of the few, like it kind of feels, I feel proud of it. I actually talked to some people that are in engineering and they say I know a lot of stuff because of this class. When students leave the Choices New Energy Academy, we would hope that they'd be able to go to college or at least community college if that's what they want, and you know, that they have the study skills and the basic academic knowledge to succeed in college, but also that they could go out and get a job and that they would know how to present themselves, how to speak clearly, communicate.